let's start with a podcast. So for the past few months, I have been listening to this podcast, which I absolutely love. If you are interested in our energy transition and based on what I'm seeing on social media, a lot of you are, you will absolutely love this podcast. It's called Redefining Energy, and uh, it is a really great listen in terms of understanding our energy transition and uh, all of the companies and people and researchers that are making an impact on this transition today. So it's available across platforms and uh, a good listen as well. They just had an episode recently talking about the state of our energy transition in uh, 2023. And uh, it was a fascinating episode and they're also relatively quick episodes. Uh, the most recent one was under 30 minutes. So great if you listen to podcasts while you're commuting or maybe walking your dog. Okay, so next up in terms of a book pick, this is a book that I read a few months ago that I talked about on social media as well as in my newsletter. It uh, is called Age of Revolutions by Fareed Zakaria. Uh, I absolutely loved this book. It was uh, a great look back at hundreds of years of history and understanding moments of progress as well as backlash along the way. And it's really a, a good read to get some insight into our past in history and also to understand the uh, present day as well as the future that we're going into. And, and just to summarize, although I recommend you read the whole book, essentially what uh, Fareed Zakaria is talking about is how through many moments of progress, of course, there was backlash. And uh, I think it allows us to have a better understanding of these tough times that are on our doorstep right now. So that is my book pick if you are looking for a book to read this summer. Now, if you are looking for a newsletter to subscribe to, hopefully you do subscribe to my newsletter. It's over at ambermack.com slash newsletter. We send it out every Tuesday. It is free. And I do get a lot of links as well from Bloomberg Green. So this is not only a great uh, site to bookmark, but I highly recommend their newsletter. It's a, a daily newsletter called the Green Daily. And uh, what they feature is the latest in climate science, clean energy, green finance, environmental policies, EVs, zero emissions tech, and sustainable living. So every morning when I wake up, I kind of dive into some of the news that they share in that green daily newsletter to just give me a sense of what's happening on the sustainability front. And it, it's always a great overview in terms of what is happening in that space. So a really good and easy newsletter and also free, uh, which I know that people love. Next up, now this may be a site that many of you are familiar with, but I do want to mention it in terms of uh, a link to bookmark because every week in my newsletter, very often we share resources and charts that are in Statista. One of the things I love about this site is that even within the free version, you're able to get a lot of information in terms of trends insofar as social media usage, uh, artificial intelligence, uh, the list goes on and on. So they always have these really useful charts that you can check out to get a unique perspective, whether it's local for you or some of the global data that they do share to really talk about insights and facts across 170 industries and more than 150 countries. So uh, great to pop over there on a daily basis to see what is new. So that is my site to bookmark this summer and check out as well. Now, one of the questions I get on a regular basis when I speak and keynote about artificial intelligence is I often get people coming up to me at the end of a keynote. I just had this experience recently with one of our attendees and he shared with me that uh, his son was looking to get into the tech space, didn't have a lot of formal training in terms of technology and artificial intelligence, and was curious, are there any courses that he could potentially take, not talking about college or university, but something uh, that he could do online. And fortunately, I had just had someone from Google on my podcast who was talking about their new course called Google AI Essentials. Now, this is a course that is only 10 hours long, so very accessible for anyone who wants to take it throughout the summer.